Welcome, welcome to CBS Mornings. This Thursday, September 1st, it's a new month. I'm Gail Kay. Yes, you are. I'm Tony DeCopel. Nate is off today, but we're still here. So let's go to today's eye opener. It's your world in 90 seconds. Breaking overnight, former President Trump's legal team has a new response in the case of those classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. President Trump likely should not have been in possession of those documents. I don't think that's too far of a stretch for a rational person to say. Raging wildfires force evacuations and shut down roads in California while millions deal with a brutal heat wave. Just craziness, firefighters left and right. A new report out today finds sexual assaults reported in the U.S. military jumped by 13 percent last year. In Ukraine, a team of inspectors travels toward Europe's largest nuclear power plant to look for damage. It's a mission that seeks to prevent a nuclear accident. Former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin loses the Alaska special election to Democrat Mary Peltola. Dolly Parton is launching an apparel line for pets. And guess what it's called? Doggy Parton. A man in South London opened the door and discovered a police raid going on, which included this guy. Well, 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 Boris. <laughs> Boris Johnson on a police raid. You don't happen to have any, uh, uh, any drugs on you, do you? You know, with the, the old wacky tobacco. Showing up for Serena. More people packed the U.S. Open grounds than any other night in the tournament's history. Watching the legend win her second round match. <laughs> Serena Williams just supreme. Every match you wonder, will this be the small song? <laughs> Not tonight. Are you surprising yourself with your level? <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm just Serena, you know, so. <laughs> this morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Wow. Tony, I was on a flight last night flying in from Nashville, so I missed the whole thing. So when I landed, it said Serena won, and I said, Serena won. People from Nashville didn't seem as excited as I was. I, you know, I wanted to scream on that plane. I was so excited. There was a lot of screaming. Uh, I'll, in bet. The, in the I'll bet. I'll mean, bet. You know, this is not supposed to happen. That was the number two player in yes. the world, and Serena's playing like the Serena of old. Like, yes. She's really finding something extra. But I like what she said. I'm Serena. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty Serena. good player, too. Go, Serena. I'm so psyched for Friday. We welcome you to CBS Mornings. I can't get over this. I'm so excited for her. Serena Williams, she is not the only pioneer that we are celebrating today. Dorica Duncan spent time with Ed Dwight. Who was that? He was selected to be the nation's first black astronaut. He never did go to the moon, but it worked out okay for him. He's found a new calling, celebrating hidden figures in black history through art. He's got a lot of wisdom to share with all of us today. Looking forward to that. Plus, Dr. John LaPook shows us what could be a true miracle of modern science. It is a new brain implant being tested that can turn thoughts into language. We'll show you how it has transformed one patient's life. Can't wait to see that. But we're going to begin with ferocious, and ferocious is a word, these wildfires that are creating dangerous conditions in parts of California. Walls of flames have surrounded buildings and prompted evacuations across southern areas of the state. The fires are threatening multiple communities near Los Angeles and San Diego, including Castiac, which is north of Los Angeles. Jonathan Bigliotti is there with more on the story. Jonathan, good morning to you. I hope I said that word right. Castiac, is that right? Hey. That, that is correct. You pronounce it correctly. Good morning to you, Gail. We're about a mile and a half away from where this fire is currently active, threatening a power plant this morning on private property. The biggest concern this morning is the heat. Right now, it is 85 degrees this afternoon. Temperatures are expected to spike to around 107 degrees. CBS Mornings coming up in this hour. Imagine nearly making history as the first black man in space, and then it's all taken away. We'll tell you the remarkable story of Ed Dwight, who found a new mission right here on Earth. Plus, the breakout star of the new Broadway production of Into the Woods is a cow. 
We'll meet the man behind the creature who is stealing the show. I've seen that guy in action. He's good. And a young entrepreneur is changing the game, you could say, when it comes to the dolls our kids are playing with. First on CBS Mornings, the founder of Healthy Roots Dolls shares her latest creations. But first, here's today's eye-opener at 8. A judge hears new arguments today on the classified documents seized at Mar-a-Lago. The Trump legal team wants an independent review. There were twice as many documents not turned over, and they were all through the personal residence. Wildfires erupt near Los Angeles and San Diego amid a sweltering heat wave. It's very hot and dry. We saw how quickly a small ignition can ignite and spread very rapidly. The Jackson, Mississippi water crisis remains dire, and there is no solution in sight. We are seeing the intentional divestment um, in communities that are led by black elected officials. A new implant might literally be able to read your mind, turning thoughts into language. I can sell my emails. I can surf the web. And the website Crypto.com accidentally deposited millions of dollars into the account of a woman in Australia. She used it to buy a mansion. Someone actually made money off crypto this year. <laughs> Over $10 million. Such a, it was such a big mistake that the Crypto.com arena here in Los Angeles has now been renamed to, hey, Janice, if you're reading this, would you mind returning our phone calls? Arena. Uh, I love James that story. always captures it. I think that's really she good. She found an extra $10 million in her account, and she was like, I'm going to use it. I'm not calling anybody. <laughs> and it's a very nice house, too, I'll bet. We're going to begin this hour with NASA planning to launch its Artemis I moon mission this Saturday. We're taking a look back at a key moment in the history of the space program. That'll do it for the two of us. As you see, Nate was not here. That's because right before we went on air, he tested positive for COVID. It says he feels fine. We'll get him back here as soon as we can. It's always that feeling when the COVID officer is approaching. Uh -oh. go, do I have it? COVID Chris. And the answer is yes. Thank you, COVID Chris. We miss you, we'll Nate. We'll see you tomorrow on CBS Feel better Mornings. soon. Feel better. Bye. Bye.